What's going on guys? Welcome back. I have a couple odds and ends here for you. I mentioned in the last video, I have tons of like just random pickups. So we're going to go over some, uh, some of those random pickups that I found. I went to a Texans like practice with my family and my buddy Martin over at Middle Earth Comics, uh, he, he had some extra passes. I guess he wasn't able to go. He's a season ticket holder. And while we were there, um, we had a really good time. Um, I got a I got a flag, which right now I'm actually I actually have a full sin flag out there thanks to my wife. I don't know. I just woke up from a little nap. It's a little dark, but you guys silly. I'm still gonna send it. <laughs> but um, we also got this Texans flag. So if anything happens to the full sin flag, we have the Texans flag ready to go. And then also we caught this. Um, Football, the official, the official NFL football. It was thrown to us. We got a couple little ones too. Um, you know, we met Toro, and we had a really good time. Got the, you know, the National Football League there. Um, but yeah, we had a really great time. This was thrown by Ingram, um, so we were really, really excited about that. You know, and speaking of my son, we have uh, some goodies here. Huge, huge Godzilla fan. We were uh, walking doing a little thrifting, the wife and I, and we were walking by uh, Goodwill and we spotted this. So we grabbed this, this guy here, pretty, pretty hefty boy. Um, let's see, it says from 2007, Toho, Bandai, uh, pretty neat. And then also we got this um, water feature here from Jurassic Park. I forgot what they call this one. We're gonna give you an even closer look at our Mosasaurus. We snagged it for the little man just because uh, we thought he'd probably think that that was pretty epic. Um, goodwill. And uh, in my last video, I mentioned we stopped at Desert Industries, but uh, I also grabbed this uh, video cassette for repairing, uh, maintaining and repairing uh, book here. I thought this was really neat, really old school. Hello and welcome to A Layman's Guide to Minor VCR Repair, Volume 1. It used to sell for $15.50. Uh, yeah, I got it for a buck. And uh, it's kind of funny, it mentioned Sony, Zenith, General Electric, RCA, Magnavox, Quasar, JVC. Just, uh, just a really neat looking book. Happy to add that to the collection. And then I got this Stephen King, all, you know, uh, Salem's Lot, Missing the sleeve, but I believe that I believe I grabbed this because it's a first edition. It's a first edition. Uh, looks like it probably sat in a uh, thrift store for $9.99. Pretty cool. Uh, we didn't have this one. And then um, before we get into the movies, I wanted to talk about this. My wife found this at um, Wow, one of the dollar stores she frequents, and uh, she's like, do you know what this is? And I, I had no idea, but apparently they had many. And, uh, you know, as you can see, it was $2.99. Um, uh, it's from Rick and Morty. Uh, if you guys are familiar with Rick and Morty, Warner Brothers, what's up? Uh, huge shout out to Warner Brothers for hooking me up with uh, some Rick and Morty goodness. But this is, um, I guess it's like an inside joke about this uh, plumbus. Everyone has a plumbus in their home. First, they take the dingle bop and they smooth it out with a bunch of schleem. The schleem is then repurposed for later batches. They take the dingle bop and they push it through the grumbo where the fleeb is rubbed against it. It's important that the fleeb is rubbed because the fleeb has all of the fleeb juice. Uh, no one knows what it's used for. Uh, I, I, I... Yeah, I guess I haven't watched this episode, um, but she grabbed it for me. On the back, it lists all of these uses for the plumbus. Uh, can't say I've, I, I know what to do with it, but um, yeah, I told her to pick it up. $2.99, great value. Really interesting to see. All right, so now, last but not least, we have the, the movies. And uh, we got some good stuff here. So uh, SLC Punk, I got this at a thrift store by the Goodwill for or maybe I got this at Goodwill. Yeah, I got this at Goodwill. Uh, $1.99, two bucks. I don't have this, at least I don't think. Meet Steve-O and Bob, 
they were the only two punks living in Salt Lake City. Ooh, ooh, we come from the east. What the hell are you? Yeah, I don't, I don't have this, and I've, I've never seen it, and so I'm excited to finally own this. Um, let's see, we got this uh, Wor Woronui Kenshin. My wife grabbed this for me. It was at one of those uh, like return places. I believe that this was a dollar. Pretty cool pickup. Yeah, I, it's put out by Funimation. I might resell it because I'm not really entirely sure of it. This is Palm Beach Money, Power, and Privilege. Looks like an old library uh, a &E home video. Again, I think this was only a dollar from that return place. But um, yeah, these sell for pretty well online, oddly enough. This, I asked her to grab because of, uh, this was, uh, this is from Dollar Tree, but we grabbed it for the bracelet on Bordeaux. Oh, no. A bully just stole my Elka. <laughs> Rufus is next if you don't deliver $10,000 by Sunday sundown. Can I help find her? On whatever backward map. Now, to make things right. Meet me at the swamp pier. We could get hooked. You can watch my back. She must learn that trusting in friends and believing in yourself is the greatest adventure of all. If the gators don't get you, I will. This is a locally filmed, um, the Woodlands or uh, Houston area release. Uh, this is it's available on Tubi, but for some reason it always messes up every time we try to watch it. I have a, a lot of friends that either worked on it or had some weird affiliation with it. But this is put out by Echo Bridge. Uh, it has Annabelle Hooper and the Ghost of Nantucket, and then Spy School, which I believe we used to have. But it stars Bailey Madison in the Annabelle Hooper. But uh, yeah, I don't care. The reason I got it was for this uh, bracelet of Bordeaux. Uh, you guys know who you are that are in that movie. It's very strange. Um, I grabbed this Nature Calls here. This is also from Dollar Tree on Blu-ray. Um, you know, Patton Oswalt, Johnny Knoxville, um, Rob Riggle, and R.I.P. Patrice O'Neill. Um, put out by Magnet, Blu-ray. I don't know. Seemed fun? Why not? And then... Uh, emoji movie I, I got this because it is like a big meme and ultimately it was a dollar dollar tree i have a feeling that this will be pulled um from streaming eventually and uh all those people that made fun of it will be looking for it on blu-ray uh i have not watched this uh, if my kid requests it we will watch it but i've heard that it's horrible i think that that's kind of the idea behind it is or the only reason why you would watch it is to see how horrible it really is. I'm still here watching Phoenix. You look different than I remember. <laughs> You've got a, a, a nice beard going and... Uh, oh yeah, thank yeah. you. Um, I remember when this came out, put out by, uh, directed by Casey Affleck. I've, I've started watching this. I don't think I ever finished it. I think I fell asleep. Um, but yeah, uh, Joaquin's a huge inspiration of mine, big fan. Obviously that's kind of my, my look there. Um, yeah, I don't know. I like the idea behind this. I like the like the meta, the meta ness behind it. I'm interested to see, to finally see it. Um, the secret, uh, David the Um Pretty much buy anything David the Company, just because the wife is a huge fan of David the Company, X Files House. Uh, so we will be watching this. Sushi Girl, Tony Todd, Noah Hathaway, Mark Hamill. So this was, uh, I had this on DVD and I basically um, decided just to upgrade it. Um, I heard that this is actually a pretty decent film. I have not watched this though. Um, Dystopia, I rebought on on, um, on uh, DVD for a dollar. Michael uh, Coupon, I uh, always say his name real weird. Uh, he's in this, big fan of his. Also a good guy, I did an interview with him recently. And uh, I, yeah, I told him he could have my copy, so I went ahead and bought a, a new copy. I was pleasantly surprised to find it. Um, Moondog Saints 2, this was, oddly enough, this was open. I don't have part two, I have part one. I've never seen part two. 
has a, a, a really good cast. I love uh, Clifton Collins Jr. My name is Clifton Collins Jr. Anything with him, I'm a fan of. So yeah, this will be fun just to watch. Apparently they're they're uh, doing a part three, so that should be interesting. And then we have uh, Coop Talk, which um, has a little bit of everybody in it. Nick Swartz and Bobby Lee, Jonah Ray, Kumel, and Adam Carolla, Pete Holmes, Simon Rex. I'm on cocaine. Um, you know, a documentary about poop, you know, what could go wrong. Um, but yeah, a dollar. Uh, I, I thought my wife has a thing for Kumel. Um, back to the, the uh, X-Files thing. He has a podcast about X-Files. So pretty much anything with him in it, we support it. So, uh, or we purchased it. I wouldn't exactly call um, buying a dollar Blu-ray supporting somebody, but uh, nevertheless, happy to add this to the collection. Um, that's that's all I think for this round of, of stuff. Slowly but surely knocking everything out. But um, but yeah, here's a nice shot of all of the, the movies. Um, yeah, what did you guys think? Uh, anything cool, anything I need to check out? uh yeah happy to uh add all of these to the collection and anything that's not going to the collection is going to be available on ebay um or through me so if you see something you like let me know because i might be selling that's really all i have for today if there's anything else let me know uh like comment subscribe all that jazz i love you bye